Welcome to the Tour of Oman, a race defined by good weather and, of course, camels. It's an early season test for sprinters and climbers alike, with a sprinkling of classic specialists who have been out in the Middle East for several weeks in preparation for the fast approaching classic season. Reigning champion Chris Froome has chosen Andalusia over Oman to begin his season, so that means there will be a new champion by the time the week is over. The riders rolled out for stage 1, a pretty flat course from Bayat Al Naman Castle to Al Wataya. The sprinters will have no doubt marked this stage as the perfect opportunity to target an early win. The breakaway of the day took no time at all to assemble. Jeff van Meyerhager, Patrick Conrad, Johan van Ziel and Simone Andrietta attacked from the drop of the flag and quickly built up a lead of around 5 minutes inside the first hour of racing. A fierce sprint for the first intermediate sprint was won by Conrad. As Katusha took out the work in the peloton, Van Ziel increased the pace out front. He dropped his three breakaway companions and forged on solo, picking up some bonus seconds at the second intermediate sprint at kilometre 88. The trio behind soon realised the game was up and they were absorbed by the punch, still led by Katusha. Van Ziel forged on for a little longer, but nothing says the death of a breakaway quite like a jersey stuffed with bottles for his teammates. With the race back together, the pace was ramped up for the final sprint. Etik's quick step, Tinkoff, Saxo and Kofidis were well positioned into the final corner, with Astana's Borok Bozic leading the surge down the finishing straight. Tom Boonin hit the front early, but Andrea Guardini left it a little bit later on the drag to the line and finally claimed his first win of the season. With three second places already this year, we mentioned he was close to a win in our Tour of Oman Top 10 preview. It's nice to be right for once. I see my team works really perfect for me. And we take uh, the last corner a bit on the behind of the other, but uh, with the headwind and uh, a little bit uphill finish, it was perfect for, for a sprint from behind. I take a uh, bone and wheels and I go full gas in the last 100k, 100 meter in a perfect time. In this time, finally, is my sprint. Here are the stage results then from ProCyclingStats.com. Boonen held on for second, while Matteo Pelucchi pushed into third. Thanks to time bonuses at the finish line, Guardini takes a four-second lead overall into stage two. <laughs>